Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. Although dinosaurs, along with many other prehistoric creatures went extinct millions of years ago, there are some creatures that walked the earth with them that still live today. You would think that they have changed to the point that they became a whole different species, but that is not the case. The animals we will talk about today are basically the same as they were in prehistoric times. Some have experienced minor changes, but nothing to the point that would make them completely different from how they were back then. Join us on this journey among the 10 of the ancient creatures that are still alive and living back when dinosaurs walked the earth. Number 10. Shoebill Stork. Shoebill stork sounds like a machine gun, and it is unclear how the shoebill stork is related to other birds because countless data has connected it to different living relatives. However, scientists agree that it's an old bird. It's so old that every day there is new information about its origin and its closest relatives. Reaching up to 5 feet tall, they boast yellow eyes, gray feathers, and a small feathered crest behind their head. Their long legs also aid movement on the vegetation in swamps and freshwater marshes in East Africa, South Sudan, Zambia, and Ethiopia. Due to poaching and habitat destruction, they're considered vulnerable to extinction. Regardless, they roam around specific places on the planet and for instance, you can find them at the Mabamba Bay wetland in Uganda where there are bird spawning tours. As you paddle through the shallow lakes, it gives you the feeling of what prehistoric people experienced and for a moment, you'll forget your present reality. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 9. Echidna. Echidnas are bizarre creatures that resemble a cross between a porcupine badger and an anteater. These primitive mammals lay eggs rather than give birth to live babies like their relatives to the platypus. You can hardly find these animals in the wild since they're small and roam around at only night. Kinda like me in a way, not only that they prefer to live solitary lives. Several of the species are endangered in considering that they've been around for almost 17 million years. It's heartbreaking, well, it's not all gloomy for them, as you can still find some of them on the planet. To see a live echidna you can visit the Australia Zoo in Queensland, the Bondurant Wildlife Sanctuary in Tasmania, and the Tarona Zoo in Sydney. In New Guinea farming and hunting is one of the greatest threats to the survival of this animal. Although there are about 10,000 mature animals there, the population continues to decrease. Before now hunters used to track and kill echidnas, but today they use dogs and firearms, what a rather cruel way to hunt such a small creature. Number 8. White Rhinoceros. White rhinoceros are ancient species comprising two subspecies, northern white and southern white rhinoceros. Unfortunately, the population of the former boats is only a few individuals, which are all female. This means that in a few years they may all be wiped out as there is no male to aid reproduction. The southern white rhino fares better in all of these, as it's a conservation success story. The IUCN insists that there are about 17,000 of them globally, still, rhinos are under threat from poachers who harvest their horns for traditional medicines. This has led the governments around where these animals are located to implement drastic measures to curtail the wants and killings of rhinos. One of the most efficient measures they've implemented is, hiring armed guards to protect the animal. You can see a southern white rhino in the Kruger National Park in South Africa, you'll also be opportune to see tons of animals you thought were extinct. Number 7. Tuatara. The Tuatara looks like the regular iguana, but don't let that deceive you. There is more to them than meets the eye. These ancient reptiles are believed to have existed at the same time as the dinosaurs. That is, some million years ago. That's too old. Today you can find clues to their ancient history from this animal's body. You can see their primitive third eye on their head even though it's hard to see it because of the scales that cover it. Scientists say the eyes serve as a light center the reptile uses to set their seasonal biological functions. They do not have external ears like modern-day reptiles, but they hear sounds underwater. 
Tuataras are found in parts of New Zealand and scarcely in the wild. They also live in some zoos around the world, like the one in Zealandia in Wellington, and the National Aquarium of New Zealand. Because Tuatara is of great concern to conservationists, they're recognized internationally as species that need to be conserved. Number 6. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons still live in modern-day Indonesia even though they are not originally from there. Scientists recently discovered a series of their fossils in eastern Australia dating as far back as 4 million years ago. These behemoths weigh as much as an adult human and have been known to attack humans too. Research has proven that they are also venomous like some snake species we have today. Some scientists have described these ancient beasts as real-life dragons. However, you can try your luck with them if you're feeling too brave. To see things for yourself you can visit the Komodo National Park. The islands that make up this park are not only stunning, but offer exciting amenities that satisfy the curiosity of tourists. Number 5. Bactrian Camel. You've probably seen one humped camels around because they were used as a means of transport before the proliferation of automobiles. They are still used in the Middle East and parts of Africa today. What you didn't know about these animals is that they evolved from two humped Bactrian camels which still roam the wilds of the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. These camels resemble a cross between a llama and Chewbacca. They're so sturdy that they can withstand the most unfavorable weather conditions. Whereas for me, I wouldn't even be able to step out in a small shower of rain. The two humps are used to store fat which the animal breaks into water and energy to sustain it during food scarcity. Bacteria camels are endangered in the wild, with only less than 1,000 of them left globally. However, you can find the domesticated ones in Mongolia because they're part of the Mongolian culture. Number 4. Musk Oxen. Musk oxen are quiet asides to behold, especially during fall running season. When it's time, these animals fight for control of the herons by running towards each other and smashing their heads with a risky battle. Scientists say they've lived between 187,000 to 129,000 years. Around the 1800s they were moved from Alaska, but after they were successfully reintroduced their population grew. Today you can find several musk oxen in Alaska, although with declining populations. You may find these animals in the wild, but one of the likeliest places to find them is in Nome, Alaska, where they wander about in a small town. If you visit this location, ensure to check out some of the gnome vendors selling soft underwool harvested from this animal. It's believed to be one of the finest and warmest in the world. I would love to have a blanket from this animal. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Wabigong Shark. If you visited a tropical Pacific reef dive, you might have seen a wabigong shark and not taken notice of it. These creatures are deliberate about hiding from humans thanks to their flattened bodies, camouflage patterns, and frilly edges. Nature allows them to blend in with algae-covered rock and go unnoticed. However, you can see them when they start swimming because of their white bellies. These sharks have been around for millions of years, yet are not tired of being with us. The largest of the species is the spotted wabigong, which grows to over 10 feet. While the smallest is the floor-banded wabigong, which reaches only two and a half feet. Some of the species still in existence are too small to harm people, even though a few attacks from them have been reported. The good news is that there have been no fatalities, and the accidents might have occurred when humans got too close to them. If you're lucky to spot them on a reef dive, it's best not to get too close because they may not be too kind to you. Number 2. Gharial. Gharials have long, narrow sword-like mounds with buzzy teeth. Males have a huge nose at the edge of their snout, making them look like characters straight out of a sci-fi movie. Gharials have existed for millions of years and remain the last species of their lineage. While it was heading towards extinction, about 200 of them were left in the wilds of Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. Fortunately, conservationists have not let this slide, 
but have been playing a crucial role in preserving them by breeding the creatures and sending them out to zoos globally. This allows you to get closer to the beats and interact with them. You can also catch a glimpse of them when you visit the Chitwan National Park or Bardia National Park, Nepal. Number 1. Karabao. Karabaos look like they came straight out of the Ice Age. Well, yes anyone who told you that is not lying to you. These unique animals have been around for almost 2 million years. They had existed before humans arrived to cross the Bering Land Bridge. As of then, they were a part of our diet like they are currently serving native Alaskans today. One of the most amazing things about this animal is that they're the only deer species in which females grow antlers. Although these antlers are not as big as the ones males have, females keep them to guard pits they have dug to store their food. In springtime, these attachments fall off. Carabao is found in road areas across Canada and Alaska. One of the easiest ways to see them is by taking a bus trip to Denali National Park, which is home to a herd of them. There you have it. These ancient creatures, even though endangered are still alive, feel free to visit any of them and tell us your experience in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with our latest uploads.